Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I am going to go over Bitcoin, cryptocurrency market, overall picture of uh, what's going on in the market. It's actually really, really confusing right now um, with everything that's going on. And by the way, if you just landed here, do me a huge favor. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. New subscribers, I do appreciate you too. So here's the deal with uh, Bitcoin, guys, is that there's so many different ways you can go with this. But Bitcoin's been in this sideways area since... Uh, Basically, the middle of March, and now we're over here uh, working on May. May. Um, looking at everything that I have for the cryptocurrency market, the time area to pay attention to, I'm trying to get this time stuff down, guys. It's very, very difficult, is between May 5th and May 15th. Um, something should be happening for a, a pretty big move around that time, I think, in the cryptocurrency market. We will see. I'm putting it out there publicly. So... Here's the deal. Let me go over, uh, what was the one I wanted to go over? Oh, I wanted to go over uh, SPX, guys. So here's the deal with the S&P 500. And man, I tell you what, these crash videos, <laughs> the crash videos on S&P 500, man. I got to give bears credit, man. These guys will not give up. They will not give up. So that's good, guys, because all they're going to do is they're going to melt up these assets uh, even higher, more than likely, if they keep on doing that in my opinion. But with uh, the S&P 500 here, guys, this more likely, this leg right here is your impulse move right here, and it's going to correct this leg, okay? Um, definitely targets down here to 40, and then as low as down that 39.41 in these areas, guys. So it's probably going to be correcting this leg, so it's going to be going down. Same with the rest of the markets, like the uh, NASDAQ here has a leg, in my opinion, right here, that it's going to be correcting that leg. Um, don't think there's going to be this crash down to here, guys. There's not a crash for that. Uh, Dow Jones Industrial, same thing. Dow Jones Industrial is actually pretty straightforward. Um, this leg over here, and this whole section was its correction right into here, and it's on this leg, so it's going to be correcting this leg or right over here, guys. So I know a lot of the videos are going to say it's going to be going down like that. Nope, I don't think so. This is a five-way move up here, and it's going to do another one over here. As a matter of fact, the Dow Jones Industrials, you actually have a good shot that this is going to bust. This is going to get near all-time highs or even bust it, guys. So kind of like the rest of it. Now, what I wanted to do is I paid attention like GBTC. I want to go over this with uh, Bitcoin, too, because Bitcoin is uh, very confusing right now, if you will, on this uh, wave pattern that it did up here. This section right here. And there's so many different ways that you can go with that. Um, Oh, by the way, I want to go to DXY. DXY, I think, is going to be correcting a little bit, guys. Um, it's still in a downtrend. So even if it goes up, it's not going to be that big of a deal. You know, a lot of people are hammering on the DXY. You have to realize, too, guys, the DXY can go up like it did here in September 95 and, and then go down when the market. So this is just a gauge. It's just a gauge. But I still think it's a downtrend. I see it correct. Drag this up a little bit, kind of like right over here. Drag that up, and it'll probably continue that downtrend a little bit. I don't think it's going to be going like this, and I don't think it's going to be doing a moonshot, guys. I think it's going to be in this area for a period of time. That's what I'm uh, guessing, but temporarily in an uptrend. And um, while it's going up, of course, you know, you're going to have it's the bottom here, support, 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 and it can do a shot out of there. That's uh possible but i still think even no matter how high it goes it's still this is a correctish and downtrend for the uh dxy guys so now here's the deal with the uh grayscale bitcoin trust the grayscale bitcoin trust in my opinion you have a good shot that this was the uh, where it ended right here and this whole thing was a massive flat that it did kind of like down here in this section it kind of went down, up, back down like that, and it went up here, back down. I'm still sussing that out to uh, see if it did something like that. Um, the markets right now are very, they're like confused, more or less, guys. You know, um, the bulls and bears, the bulls are winning. So in the GBTC, bulls have been winning since December, and there's still a lot of downward pressure. That's why you're having these moves like that, guys, from all the bears, okay? Um, that's how I'm looking at it. Micro strategy is the same way having a struggle get out the bottom from its december low with a nice impulse move back down to here and i'm just kind of waiting for micro strategy to see if it can pull off a move kind of like probably something like that and make another impulse type move guys 
and then it'll come back down and correct. MicroStrategy have one, two, and potentially another one, two. And these areas, when they uh, start sussing themselves out just like that, you know, they, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's very difficult sometimes to suss them out that, that a lot of people think, oh, it's just a correction. It's going to go down. And then next thing you know, micro strategy uh, sometime in the future um, goes into one, two, one, two, and then it gets ready to go over here. Actually, you could do another one, two over there too, guys, and just take its time getting out of there. So I think the markets are adjusting to the uh, interest rate environment, guys. I don't think that uh, a lot of people are expecting like uh, the Fed to put uh, more liquidity into the market like they did in March of 2020. I don't think it's going to happen, guys. I think it's going to be different. Um, they keep saying higher for longer, higher for longer, guys. So that's how I'm looking at that with GBTC MicroStrategy. So, but going back to GBTC with this move that it did, I'm still trying to figure out, we're not going to know with Bitcoin what kind of move that it made in here, guys. It seems reasonable that here's its uh, way one, two, three, four, five. Um, this very well in here could have been some sort of flat type move in there, guys. It can do that. I uh, haven't been able to rule it out. It's actually, uh, if this is able to get out of here, um, or anytime we see this above this area, then that's probably what it did. So the reason I say that is that you take a look at, uh, come back over here. I keep referencing this area right over here where it went sideways up and then came back down. And then here it is sideways over here, kind of similar, sideways up and came back down. You can see that. Let me uh, blow it up. You see, sideways up, came back down in this area. And you see this area over here, sideways back up and came back down. And that was the, uh, I don't have my uh, other, I have other indicators on right now, so that's not going to help. But that's what I'm waiting for Bitcoin to suss itself out of what it's doing over here, guys. Um, you know, you can't rule out, is this the top? Could be, you know, a lot of people are going one, two, one, two, and they're expecting this thing to go down. Um, as long as Bitcoin hangs out above uh, 25,400 and even wicks down to 24 seven, guys, it's still uh, pretty good. But the good thing is, is that if this is a correction, so let's say this is ABC, right? If this whole thing's a correction, that's going to be very, very bullish, guys. That's going to be extremely bullish for Bitcoin, in my opinion. Okay. Um, so just have to wait and see what it's going to do. But if if that is making a move like it is over here, okay, like it is over here back in, when, where, where was this, uh, June of 2020? Think about this, guys, right here. So if you take the time, let's just uh, go with that that peak right there and come all the way over here. That was 121 days, which is almost what? What was that? Uh, four months. Four months it was sitting over in that sideways section, guys. And... um. I'm just waiting to see if this is going to be what it's what it's doing over here, okay? Because um, you have a good shot that that could have happened. You just you can't rule it out. It doesn't hit the numbers either. You know, you put the fib numbers on there, like oh, I can't go that high. You know, hey, it's crypto. It's crypto, man. That it, it kind of is a wild child of all the uh, markets right now. And you know, with all these rules and this guy Elliot Wave, you know, he was doing the rules back in the 1930s, 20s, and 30s, man. You know, there wasn't uh, all the people had their own computers and phones and selling and bots and all other stuff he didn't take that into consideration so crypto kind of does his own thing but looking at the coins guys uh to go over them real brief hex coin at that uh 0 0.047 that could have been definitely some sort of local bottom uh don't have it on there either local bottom i'm looking at some other coins guys and they look like they're down there at a bottom area not all of them but some of them definitely look like that they are so that they want to go up at least in some sort of move up correctively or go up, in my opinion, guys. So we will see um, what is going to be going on. Like Gala is uh, another one. Go over Gala real quick. You know, Gala in this section right here, you know, trying to wait for it to get back down down to that area. And, you know, it's having a hard time getting down there. It's like it's it's getting exhausted on the sell side. And it wants to like, here's your here's your move. And then over here, it wants to do a move over here. That's how I'm looking at that, guys. So uh, Ethereum, um, you know, you got you got a, a invert a head and shoulders pattern right here that uh, a lot of people could say. So you want to be careful of that with that move right there. If you take your leg, you know, um, just like so. And 
move it right there, you know, that's down to 1637. So Ethereum 2 is confusing in this area, guys. What did it do? What is this? You know, that's very difficult to suss out. Same thing with Bitcoin, guys. So um, I would just wait and see what these guys are going to move off. MicroStrategy, GBTC, what it's going to do. Is it going to swing back up here or swing back around? And that's probably going to determine where the uh, direction of Bitcoin will be going, guys. So um, overall, I'm still bullish. I think it's been a correction. I've just been sitting back waiting to see the moves in here to get clarity on what this was right here, guys. Okay? Okay, because it makes a huge difference. If it ended right there, it makes a big difference over here. If it ended right here... And it did all of this makes a huge difference in Bitcoin's uh, direction here in the uh, short term going into uh, the rest of May, June, and possibly even July. Okay. If you made it all the way to the end, do me a huge favor. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.